Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm Barbara, your host for this episode of Morning Coffee and Crochet, and I'm so glad that you're here this morning. So glad to see you. And oops, sorry for all the wiggles trying to get you guys situated here. And yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> it's so good to see you all this morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And um, today is the first Monday in the year 2022 that we are going to um, have our Make It Monday. And today we're going to talk all things makes. <laughs> things to make, things to um, think about making, um, all the fun things. So let me see who is here this morning. Hey, hey, Connie, good morning. It's good to see you. Looks like you had a great one year anniversary yesterday. And good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Nikki. Um, good morning. Let's see who else here. Maureen. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. Oh, I can't see anybody else here yet this morning. Angela was here. Um, I hope she's still here. And um, you know, on this new, on this new um stream yard that I'm using, thanks to Connie. Oh, lost connection to my camera. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. There we go. I'm not sure what happened, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you back? Are you there? There we go. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see. Makes in progress. <laughs> That's right. Good morning, PJ. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So, yeah, I am excited because um, I am just going to learn this little uh, stream yard along with you. But I'm excited because I'm hoping that I can do a side by side. Not sure how I'm going to do that uh, with um, the different makes that we're going to talk about today. And um, but first, let's see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> How about that? Is that pretty snazzy or what? I know. I know. I'm not sure <laughs> if y'all can survive all of these little fun gadgety things that I um, am discovering. So this is just the first one that I've discovered. And um, announcement here. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. January, our Zoom Saturday, our January Zoom Saturday is going to be January 8th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so if you would like to be a part of that, all you need to do is email me. And the email address is down below. It is crochet therapy, the number four, the letter U at gmail.com. And that is um, something that I wanted to remind you of, uh, this coming Saturday at two o'clock is going to be our live zoom. And I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to see everyone. And, um, it's going to be so fun. Yay. So, um, let's see. Our first question today is what is in your cup? What's in your cup? Mine is coffee. Just. <laughs> hmm. What's in your cup? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me go over to the comments. Let's see. It looks like we got some more. 
Um, yay, Zoom Zoom, coffee. Nikki has coffee. Kelly has coffee. Um, <laughs> Alice fancy schmancy. <laughs> Look at that little banner. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm gone a week and a lot went on. <laughs> hey, this is the first time I've been using these little banners. <laughs> Honestly, so I've got the January Zoom going, and then I said, what's in your cup? And I really thought it was going to do that at the bottom, but no, it made it nice and big. So I'm not sure how I did that. Okay. <laughs> So, I don't know if I can duplicate it. We'll see. <laughs> okay, Kelly has coffee. Nikki has coffee. Big coffee for Alice. <laughs> uh, Nana Kathleen, good morning, Kathleen. Has hot tea with ginger, blackberry, and apple cider vinegar. <gasps> Ooh, that actually sounds really good. Uh, Maureen has hazelnut creamer with Folgers black silk coffee. Ooh, and, um, oh, Connie, nothing yet, but she really needs some coffee. Oh, yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. And um, <laughs> it's a crochet monster, Alice. And PJ has vanilla chai tea. Ooh, I tried some chai tea one time. My youngest son made me some chai tea and it had um, notes of orange. I think he even put a little orange and um, some lemon in it. And, oh, it was just really, really good. It was really good. I I actually don't know what all he put in it. Um, but I know that there was a little bit of honey and a little bit of citrusy stuff. And, um, whew, it was it was really good. It was delicious. So, um <laughs> Gloria, hi. <laughs> what a performance. You've been houseworking. You have a mug of hot water. All right. All right. Um, Nana Kathleen says that her tea is for digestive health with ginger and apple cider vinegar. That's nice. That's really nice. Good. And um, I like it. I like it. And um, so let's see. The next question is... What's on your hook? <laughs> so on my hook is the same blanket that I've been making. Well, one of the things that's on my hook, but one of the things that I was working on is the same blanket. And I am almost done uh, with the orange and green, the green and orange, no, blue and orange blanket that is made with the cover story yarn. And um, so I'm determined to just work through that until it's finished because I can, um, you know, because it's not really difficult to continue working on. So that is what's on my hook. What's on your hook? Oh, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Alice says she's a plain old tea drinker, but she needs that big coffee in the morning. Mmm. Gloria's going to have an energy drink. She said she's wrecked. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. You are ready for an energy drink. You're ready to get out of. Hey, Robin. Good morning. Good morning. So we are trying to get fancy a little bit. Um, oh, Gloria says after the last chat, she's using a blanket yarn nine millimeter hook 60 stitches a lap thing nice very nice i like it i like it a lot and um alice says i'm going to finish a blanket today that is the climbing shell stitch it makes a 3d ish nice and um kelly says i think i found a blanket to make i think it's called the wave stitch from rich rich texture crochet nice and um Nana Kathleen says she is uh, working on a shawl, but fixing toast with Nutella for soon to be double digits, as she says, she turns 10 on the 6th. Oh, toast and Nutella. You know, people that love Nut Nutella, they love it on toast. Um, 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, Roberta finished her Cupid yesterday. Yay. Yay. And Alice says she likes Rich Textures Crochet. Um, she does some good tutorials. We'll have to check her out. Today is Make It Monday. So we're talking about what we are making, what we are going to make. That is nice. That is really nice. Cool. And um, gloves to match that Hartford scarf. I am going to have to look up that Hartford scarf. That is really nice. Um, PJ, if you have a photo, you can email it to me and then I can share it on our screen while we go live. Um, because I am pretty sure that I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Anyway, I'm planning on uh, sharing some things with you. So let's see. Um, the next question is, what's the temp where you're at? What is the temperature where you're at? And I'm going to share mine. Um, let's see. My temperature currently is dun, da, 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 55 degrees Fahrenheit. 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And Fahrenheit to Celsius, 12, almost 13 degrees Celsius. It's close to 13. It's 12.77778. So we'll say 13 degrees Celsius. Um, so 55 Fahrenheit, 13 Celsius. And what is your temp today? Um, let's see, 21, 21 degrees Fahrenheit with wind chill of 11. Ooh, wow. Roberta says 72 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 8.30 a.m., not January weather. Whoa. It's 18 degrees in West Texas, 18 Fahrenheit. Um, 56 degrees for Lori, honey, McCombie. Hello, hello, Lori. Lori, it's so good to see you. I miss you. And Brenda's here. Brenda, good morning, Brenda. Alice says it is 18 degrees Celsius. 18 degrees Celsius. So, okay. And Brenda, it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit in Kentucky. Woo -woo. Um, let's see. Roberta says thunderstorms and windy snow in two weeks or so. Wow. And Gloria is at a balmy 10 degrees Celsius. That's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo. And Robin is at 30 degrees Fahrenheit with snow. Snow, yay. And Kelly says it's very cold where she is, but no snow. Nikki, 26 degrees Fahrenheit in Dallas, Texas. 18 degrees Fahrenheit with for Maureen. Uh, 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, feels like 13 degrees in Oklahoma City. That's where Nana Kathleen is. And um, Alice says it's very mild here today. Oh, minus 18. Alice, very mild. <laughs> wow. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about mild. Minus 18 Celsius. Okay. Minus 18 Celsius. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so that would be, is that, I, let's see, minus 18 Celsius. Let's see what that is to Fahrenheit because I don't know. Oop. Minus 18 Celsius to Fahrenheit. Oh, that's freezing. Uh, that's freezing, Alice. <laughs> Oh, and Alice had a big snow day yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. 30 de degrees today, Robin, and 70 yesterday in Fahrenheit. Wow, you had a light, nice big drop in temperature. That is so awesome. Um, Maureen is saying, just left Arlington last night after moving her stepdaughter back from Mississippi. And, um, oh. 
Gloria says the UK is waiting for a big freeze later this week, possible snow too. And hey, Wendy, good morning. Um, 33, minus 33 degrees Fahrenheit for days. Now you made it to two, <laughs> two degrees Fahrenheit. You're warming up. <laughs> that is warming up. Oh my goodness. Hey, Carla, good to see you. Hi, sunshine. Um, she said it's cold there. And um, Nikki wants to know, was traffic bad with the Cowboys game? Yeah. Nice. And then this is Make It Monday. Yay. So we're going to hide that. And I see if I have a couple of them. Um, nice. So I'm going to do that. And then this, and we'll see. Oh, well, it took my name away. I don't know why. Let's see. All right. Oh, that's because that's a ticker, and this, this one is not. Okay, I think that makes a difference. If it's a ticker, like going across, or if it's not a ticker, I think that's what makes the difference. Thanks for allowing me to learn with you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna drink my coffee, and it is still hot. Um, just wanted to let you know, um, and because I have my warmer here and, um, I just wanted to let you know, Valerie wanted everybody to know that she's okay. Her friend's, um, husband passed away. And so she was there with her. And so she's been spending a couple days with her and that is where she is, but she will be back soon. And she's thinking about everyone and happy new year. Uh, Valerie, if you're watching, um, later if you're not able to catch it live which i think that's what's happening right now mm. okay let's see what the comments have been um oh <laughs> let's see all this chitter chatter i love it love it love it um gloria says um it's been crazy. Um, she's got some spring flowers coming up and then it's getting ready to snow next week. So that's kind of crazy, huh? And um, Alice has frosted windows. She can't see out. Let me turn my volume down here so that. All right, let me turn this volume off here. There we go. And um, there we go. <laughs> Kelly Weber. We were on I-20. She lives just off of I-20 and Cooper. Nice. Uh, Wendy says, everybody is calling in sick. Yeah. Yeah. Glad it was just a ticker. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> Lori says, I don't think we have a choice but to let you learn <laughs> learn us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh Gloria was having camellias in bud and daffodils. Oh, you know, those little tender daffodils, they do want to come up early sometimes, right? And sometimes they just like break through a little bit too soon and then the snow comes and then they have snow covered daffodils. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Valerie is, is the sweetest. She really is. Valerie takes care of people. Um, she is just a real tender heart. Um, and, um, <laughs> Wendy says, Gloria, I need to move by you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Carla. And um, Maureen and everyone who is sending love to Valerie. That is really sweet. And I know she'll see it and um, might not be soon, but she'll see it. Um, that is so nice. That is so nice. So let me see if I can. And figured this split screen thing out. Okay. 
And let's see if, here, this is what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. So, Oh boy, there we go. So let, I don't know how to, let's see. Let me see if I can figure this out. Shift five. Ooh, Connie, I might need some help. I might need some help. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think I know how to how to add a screen. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I was hoping that I could. Okay, you see under your main box how they have the buttons. Okay, yes, yes I do. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so they have the buttons. Do I hit the share button? Um, is that what I do? Share screen. Share screen. I'm going to try it. Um, oh. Okay. Share screen. I'm not sure. It's easiest with two monitors, but I don't. Hmm. How can I share? Can I add this? Oh, there we go. Well, let me see. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Not this one. Window. Chrome tab. Okay, select the tab to preview. There we go. <gasps> I figured it out, guys. Okay. So, I think I did. Let's see. Okay. This is... Yes, I did it. Thank you for being so patient. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So this is the, and let me see if I can make it bigger. Let's see, full screen layout. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, so this is um, the crochet crowds, Millie the Crochet Love Mouse. And this is what we were talking about the other day. And um, so this is... Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is um, what we were talking about. And this is an adorable little mouse. Um, I was watching the video and um, basically he just goes from, he makes the head and then he goes from the neck down. And like even with the legs and the body, it's all one piece. Um, so I'm not sure if he continues with the head and then keeps going. But this is on my Make It Monday list. So this is, I'm going to do what Roberta says. And I'm, Roberta said, yep, that little guy is in her fishbowl. So I think it's an awesome, awesome um, 
deal to um, have that fishbowl idea. And for me, I think what I'm going to do is get instead of a fishbowl, because, you know, I have cats and and um, I want to have something that has a lid on it. So I am going to get um, some type of um, I love to listen to crochet videos while crocheting too, Wendy, definitely. And um, so what I'm going to do is get um, like a, a jar, like a mason jar, you know, with a lid. And I'm just going to start putting these ideas in here because what I end up doing, I don't know if you're like me, but what I end up doing is um, I end up um, taking my phone and I find it on my phone and I, you know, I open up a browser and then I, I save it on there and I just have like a hundred open, you know, browsers on my phone, on Chrome and, you know, in all different things like, you know, hats and all these different makes that I want to save. I don't want to lose it because I love the idea. And, um, oh yeah. I'm going to use the mason jar, definitely. And um, yes, it is really, really cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh, you can make all kinds of uh, different um, bodies, a different kind of animals with this. I agree. So definitely. Um, let me see if I can make it full screen. And um, let's see. I'm not sure I can make it full screen. Here we go. Full screen. And oh, it's got an ad. But oh, that is not going to work. Let's see. Skip ads. So here we go. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, really? No. That's not working. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was going to see if I could make it full screen so that when I get this, there we go. So let me see if I can share it like this. Share screen. No. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends so over at yarnspirations.com. Is... Today is the Millie the Mouse crochet toy. We're going to do start to finish in today's tutorial. This mouse is approximately about yeah. nine inches this tall. Is the video and we're and going to use a four and a half it. millimeter it US 7 crochet free, hook um, and Red Heart Super Saver is, will be fine. I'm going to be using Peyton's Inspired that's I left over from my study of the journey the afghan today. So that's what you'll see those colors to be. You also need a pair of safety eyes, just like you see. And I have a little kit that I got from online. And what we have here is that we're just going to work through this step by step. You'll also need a tapestry needle. And I may actually just change some stuff as um, I go, so just keep an eye to, on that. Um, and if you like this pattern, of course, yeah, you can you download it to, on the Crochet Crowd. You know, go searching just for it. I've got, um, I've got two more that I want to talk about. And um, so, oh yes, you can make many folders. Um, let's see. Oh, you use OneDrive. You know, I used to have OneDrive, and I lost my password. And, um, you know, I don't know if he's a four-weight or a three. I believe he's a four-weight. Um, but I put the link down below. Let me see. Now, when I go to the other screen, I'm thinking that it is, um, okay. Let's see what they're making it with. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I am not sure. Let's see. Okay, it's using Red Heart Super Saver. So it's a four weight yarn. That's what they're using. So yeah, 
So it's just a four weight, um, four weight yarn. Um, you know, Yarn Inspirations um, is the place where, you know, Red Heart Super Saver comes from now. So um, anyway, um, Roberta has them saved in her Adobe, but then you forget what you wanted to do. So the fishbowl lets you pick a random project. Yes. Yes. Mikey answered. Oh, are you able to... Are you able to hear when I put that up? That's nice. I wasn't sure. Um, Red Heart Super Saver. Yeah. Nice. So I, um, let's see. Let me see. To do this and let's get oh, started right away. he's still and on there. The oh, my so goodness. Sorry. The there we go. Make sure that you have your <laughs> I had my... Um, there we go. Four weight super saver yarn. Okay. So see, that was a learning experience for me because I didn't realize if I left the video on that you were able to hear it because I had mine, um, <laughs> I had mine muted so I couldn't hear him. Um, nice, nice. Hey, Trudy, it's good to see you. Good to see you. And, um, so, you know, if you, if you feel the weight of the yarn that you're using, and it says it's a four weight, but it feels like a little bit lighter than a four weight. Um, let's say, for instance, um, Karen uh, Super Soft. Okay. Um, Karen Super Soft is, it says it's a four weight yarn. However, kind of feels like a three weight yarn. What I would do is whatever hook Mikey says to use, I would probably go down one size hook for this project. Will it make it a little smaller? Possibly, but then you're not going to risk having those little holes in your Amigurumi project. And it's going to be just as cute. Um, so that's what I would do if I were you. Um, Roberta says when she was in Germany, she had to learn to substitute yarns. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, Mikey, go on and get it's G-I-T, Kelly, go on and get. <laughs> You're funny, Kelly. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, and you could use two strands of G-K. Everybody's laughing with you, Kelly. Go on now, get, Mikey. We don't want to hear you right now. <laughs> okay, and Roberta says she rarely uses less than an E-hook. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go, oh yeah, I wouldn't go any lower than an e-hook, definitely. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, um, I'm not sure what, um, what hook he says to use. Let me see. Hallelujah. Okay, so he says 4.5 millimeter hook. So, um, you know, let's see, 4.5. H, E, F, G. So 4.5 millimeter hook. Um, is a number seven hook. A lot of people don't have a number seven hook, um, 4.5, because it doesn't have a letter with it. Um, so 4.5 H. So it's probably um, E, F, G. It's probably I would go down to an either an F or a G, um, a 4.5. I would probably go like 4.0. Um, or 3.75, um, you know, whatever, whatever was the equivalent to, to that, I would probably go down that way. Um, simply soft, the stuffing would show through. Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, yeah. All this new techie stuff. Oh, thank you, Lori. Thank you. It was a little intimidating, but, um, you know, Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. And um, okay. And Trudy is saying that she works her yarn under instead of over. 
um, to prevent holes. I don't know. Um, that is a technique that um, I think I would get really frustrated with because I'm not used to that. But Trudy, that, you know, that is an amazing suggestion. Um. Oh, that's so sweet. And um, so anyway, that is the first one that I am absolutely in love with. It's new. Um, it just came out. Um, and so that one is very new. So we're going to go from brand new to last month to a couple years ago. Okay, ready? This is our next one. <clears throat> and um, let me see. Oh, Okay, let me see this one. And even if, okay, hold on, hold on. I am going and to do this. And let's see. Let's do that and that and this. And let's do this. And then we have to do this again. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Okay. So let's do a share. Let's see, let's do this and share. Break out and share screen. And let's do the Chrome tab. There we go. This is an owl hat. <laughs> How cute is this little owl hat? Now this is from November and this is from um, Sarah Zimmerman of Repeat Crafter Me. And she is, <laughs> an in-person group would be beneficial, yeah. <laughs> oh, so yes, it would be. Um, oh, and Roberta says definitely yarn under and, um, oh, good. Connie's here. She's just multitasking. That's good. And um, I don't know the yarn under. So instead of doing that, you do this. Basically, you go the other way. Um, so with your hook, instead of going over, you go under. And whenever I see someone doing that technique, I always think I would lose my yarn. And um, so I've never actually done it myself. Um, Let's see. Trudy isn't on Facebook yet. Yeah. There are tutorials. Oh, yes. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> oh, Maureen, you're so funny. Um, this and that. <laughs> oh. Okay, and you think that um, Bag a Day has a tutorial for yarn under? Okay, so 
anyway, he's using the Ogo yarn with this. However, you know, you can use any. Basically, the Ogo yarn is just, it's the same yarn as a four-weight yarn, if you get the four-weight Ogo. Um, it's just wrapped differently so that supposedly, you know, you don't have to pull from the inside or whatever, but it's quite expensive. So I personally wouldn't use the Ogo. I would use the yarn that I have just saying. So I have some gray yarn, so I would use that to, um, you know, to work my owl, um, my owl hat. I would, um, you know, I like the, the white owl hat. I think, excuse me, I think it's super cute, but if I had, um, you know, a little girl or a little boy in mind, um, a young child, I think I would use, you know, the colors that they like. So maybe for a boy, um, you know, a green or a blue or um, let's see, my um, my grandson's brother, little baby brother, he loves green. I would probably make a green for him. My, my grandson, he likes red, all things red. Um, he might not like a red owl hat, but he might like a blue owl hat. Um, and then my little girls, my granddaughters, they like pink and purple. And um, so what I might even do with this is, um, you know, end up doing, um, you know, a pink and purple combination, but just flip where the pink and the purple is on both of their hats so that there's just a, you know, the same color combination, but just a slight difference in their two hats. And then they can choose their hat and they know which one is theirs because they would wear, um, the same size. There's a, one of the sizes in this project is an age two to four. And then, um, I think it's like six to eight or like a regular child size. So there's like a toddler size and then there's a child size. So anyway, that I think is what I would do. Um, yes, you really will become addicted to, um, to doing amigurumi. It is so fun and it is so satisfying to have, um, you know, to have a little um, toy. Yes, uh, the Ogo comes in blanket yarn. It comes, yes, it does. So this one, he's just making it with the four weight yarn. So that's what I would do. Um, and if you look at the screen right now, he is actually showing how to do a magic circle and he's walking through it really slow. I really like listening to Mikey. Um, the other night, um, I was watching Mikey do the, um, Millie, the little mouse, <laughs> the little love mouse. And I was just listening to his voice and I was drifting off to sleep and it was just, you know, just his voice is like so soothing and just so, you know, you can just kind of like get lost and just really drift off. And, um, it was bothering my husband. <laughs> the sound and the light from my phone. So I turned it off and then I laid there. I'm like, I want Mikey to talk to me some more. <laughs> you know, I just want him to talk to me so that I can just like lull and drift off. But um, let's see. Um, it's not as hard as you think. I agree, Nikki. I agree. Um, and let's see, tight tension makes you already ahead in the Amigurumi game. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. Okay, good. Trudy's going to send um, Alice a photo of the Amigurumi that she made so, she, so that Alice can put it on Facebook for her. Thank you to both of you ladies for doing that. That is wonderful. That is really good. And um, so this one is also on my list of makes and it is linked below. So um, the link to the YouTube um, tutorial is linked below. So I have one more that I would like to share with you. And um, let me go here really quick because I actually have, I have a photo that I want to share with you. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see if I can share a photo now. I figured out how to share a screen. Let me see if I can share a photo. And let's see. Yes. Yes. When you give your grandchildren um, something that you crocheted and they, you know, didn't expect it and it's just something surprising. Yes. They, uh, they definitely, let's see, a video file slides. Let me see. I have no slides on my computer. Um, Let's see. Still trying. Okay. Let's see. Well, I'm not sure if it's going to let me. Okay, let me try this. Let's see. The next um, to the next tutorial that I want to share with you, let me share this with you while I am, let's see, let's share, Ooh, let me do this, cancel, let me share, screen. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. This is the Easy Breezy Crochet Mile a Minute Blanket. And this is with Krista from, let me do this. If you've got yeah. a hot dog in the kitchen, awesome. There we go. And skip. There we go. Make it large. There we go. There we go. So this is um, Krista from The Secret Yarnery. And this is her um, Easy Breezy um, Mile a Minute Crochet Blanket Pattern. And this I showed you before this um, blanket pattern and if you'll see right right along here you will see um, the mile a minute section and um, I'm gonna pull this one out let me see and I am really loving this I showed this to you the other day um, I just made one just for kicks um, a mile a minute, but this mile a minute that I showed you was actually, um, um, let's see, it was from, hmm, what is her name? Jada and Stitches. Um, but this one is very easy, and let me see if I can um, share a photo with you. Let's see, because I have a photo. Let me see, add to drive, save to photos. Here we go. Let me see if I can. Okay, let me see if I can share with you. Let's see, Google Slides, here we go. And might not be in there. I don't know. Nope. 
Okay, so I, I'm trying to share a photo. Um, a mile a minute with flat edges, Trudy. That's nice. That's nice. So that is one that I wanted to show you. Um, now the mile a minute has, um, you know, you make strips of um, blanket, strips of colors, whatever color you want. And then you actually crochet the border around this one. And then you have another strip and then you connect. As you're crocheting that border, you connect it to here. So it's all uh, crocheted. Um, there's no um, sewing to connect. It's all crocheted together. Um, it's fast. It's beautiful. And um, it just makes a really stunning looking blanket. And I wish that I could share this photo with you, but I, I just don't, I just not able to see how to do that. Um, let me see, open with, nope. I just don't know how to do it. Um, I know, let me, let me see if I can share this as a Chrome. Let's see. Share screen, Chrome tab. Let's see this, okay, here we go. Maybe this is how I can do it for you. Um, let's see. Okay, so let me do this. So this, I don't know if you can see it, but this is me with my youngest granddaughter. And her name is Annabelle. This was right after she was born. She was born in April of... Yes, I love Mile a Minute too, Roberta. I really do. Um, and um, so anyway, she was born April 5th of 2020. And um, she will be two this coming April. She was born on my son's birthday, her daddy's birthday. And um, so it, she was just a special little baby. She was a, um, you know, a C baby um, that year, 2020. She was a 2020 baby. Um, but look at her, how precious she is. And she is wrapped up in Krista's Mile a Minute baby blanket. And I just really, really love it. And so that I wanted to share with you guys because it was so fast and so easy. Um, and I just really love it. And I'm sorry about, you know, this little, small, little, tiny, photo, but it's the only way I know how to share it um, because I can't get this, um, you know, this to show up. But anyway, uh, yes, I was very proud of that little baby. Um, and so anyway, she was um, just brand new there and it was the first time that I got to, this was, this moment was the first time I got to see her. And it was kind of an exception because, you know, we, um, we were quarantining and um, they made an exception for me to be able to see her, um, you know, one time. So uh, that year was was really a hard year because, you know, we didn't um, didn't get to spend time with family as much as as we wanted or as much as I needed. It made my year a whole lot harder than it uh, could have been. But um, with my husband working in you know, the healthcare field, we just, I stayed away, um, for, you know, obvious reasons. And, um, so anyway, that is my little baby girl and that is my mile a minute blanket. Now what I did, I had, um, three or four different color purples and I know that one looks like a gray, but it is really kind of like an ashy purple. And then I had a teal and the teal was just one stripe down the middle. And, um, and then um, the rest of them, I just kind of went out. Um, here we go. I just kind of went out with the colors. Like I started with the center color and then I went out um, 
you know, equal sides with the colors. So, um, and last time when I went to um, visit the little, little girls um, in North Carolina, they actually had all of their crochet blankets that I had ever made them, which I forgot a couple of them. Um, they had them all out and they were like, laying them on the floor playing um, lava, you know, and they had to step on the blankets so that they didn't step in the lava. And one of them was that mile a minute blanket and I had forgotten about it. So, um, you know, it's crazy what, what you make and what you give away and then you forget about it. So it's always good to keep track of your makes and keep track of, um, yes, I did get to hold her. Um, I did get to hold her um for a little bit yeah so that was that was a rough year but um you know we are we are just um living our life now and um hugging and um loving and you know we just we have to be you know smart and cautious but we are not uh going to live in fear anymore so um you know we I just can't. I just can't. Um, for my for my sanity, I can't. I have to, you know, be safe and be wise. Um, but I have to love on my family. Um, or honestly, quite honestly, it's not worth living. So, you know, if I don't have my family. So anyway, um, yeah, she'll remember these hugs more. That's right. That's right, Roberta. You got that right. So that was my blanket that I made with Krista's. So Krista's Easy Breezy Mile a Minute Crochet Baby Blanket is, the link is down below. So those are the three makes that I wanted to talk with you about today. Um, I am so excited about Millie the Crochet Love Mouse. I think she's adorable. And I'm thinking that um, I'm going to add her to my amigurumi list. I'm going to have just a short amigurumi list of items that I will sell. And those are going to be items that I think may um, attract, you know, people's interests, um, items that will um, not be so difficult to make that I have to charge a million dollars for them, <laughs> but also, um, you know, ones that I can enjoy making and make several of them and then, um, you know, sell them and make a little bit of a profit off of them. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so guys, that is the end of our Make It Monday. <laughs> Thank you for your patience as I'm figuring all of this out. I'm learning while you are my guinea pigs and you are just, you know, out there just hanging out while I'm like pushing buttons and trying to figure out what I'm doing. Hey, listen, it didn't take me 20 minutes to figure out how to go live this time. I pushed that button that said go live. <laughs> I mean, really? Who puts a button that says go live? <laughs> well, StreamYard does because they want to make it easy for you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but at least I know now. <laughs> uh, yeah, good. Um, Roberta says she only charges 15 to 20 for her amigurumis. They don't take more than a day. That's nice. That's nice. So yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. If I can make something quick um, that doesn't take, you know, a lot of time and then I can charge, like you said, 15 or 20 for it. Um, you know, it's not going to take a ton of yarn. So, um, the cost is not going to be there, um, or exorbitant, let's say. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to it and I'm thinking ahead to the, um, Christmas in July, uh, Facebook, um, party that I'm going to have and selling some of my makes. And so, um, I'm looking forward to that and just thinking ahead with that. So anyway, there are the three makes for Make It Monday. Links are below for the tutorials. In the tutorials, there are links for um, written patterns. Um, I do know Millie the Crochet Love Mouse and the um, All Sizes Al Crochet Hat. I'm pretty sure they're with inspiration, darn inspiration. And I'm pretty sure that they have, um, yes, we need pics as you get along with your makes. Okay, Roberta, that's a very good idea. Very good idea. And um, so I'm pretty sure that, well, I know that Millie, the Crochet Love Mouse has a free tutorial. I mean, a free 
pattern um, download. And I'm pretty sure the Owl Hat has one as well. Now, the Easy Breezy Mile a Minute Crochet Baby Blanket, um, Krista does sell her patterns. And I believe she sells them on Etsy. Um, so you may be able to purchase it there. Um, and I know that she doesn't overcharge for her patterns. However, if you watch the YouTube tutorial, it is so easy that you get the pattern down really quick and you really don't even have to have a written pattern. But if you do, it's not that expensive. I think she does sell them. This one may be a free one, but I have a feeling that she does sell them. So bye to you, Gloria, too. And um, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you for that, um, you know, for that <laughs> kudos there. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I will see you on Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be our whip Wednesday. And um, we're going to sit and we're going to crochet together and just chat about life. So I hope to see you Wednesday. Stay safe, be kind, and let's get hooking. And bye, guys. Much love to all of you. And let me figure out how to turn off this broadcast. <laughs> Have a great one.